Hey, this is Timmy G. Welcome to the second edition of my tutorial series on DJ Pro 2 for Mac by Algorithm. Today's tutorial will be about configuring your audio devices to connect speakers and headphones. If you want to get the most out of DJ Pro 2 or any other DJ software, you're going to want to have a way to listen to audio in your headphones that is different from your main output. So, before we get into how to connect your audio devices and set them up in DJ Pro 2, let's briefly talk about a couple different ways that we can connect proper audio. The first option is to use a sound card or audio interface in addition to your computer's headphone jack. Adding the second audio output will give you two different audio options, one for your speakers and one for your headphones. The next option is to use a DJ splitter cable, which allows you to separate the output stereo channels into two different mono channels. This lets you plug your headphones into one output and your speakers into the other. The third option is to use a DJ controller with built-in sound outputs. DJ Pro 2 is compatible with all sorts of popular DJ controllers, and you can find that whole list on their website. This controller is the DDJ RB from Pioneer DJ. I'll link this and the other gear mentioned in this video in the description. One thing to mention is that you don't want to use Bluetooth as a connection, as there will be latency, which will throw off how you queue up your audio. You always want to use a wired device. So first we'll do the audio interface, so we just plug it in to an open USB port on your computer, and then you can take your headphone jack and plug that into the built-in output of your computer, and then the speakers and plug them into the audio interface. Now it doesn't matter if the headphones are in the audio interface and the built-in output are in the speakers, you can adjust that in the software. So when you plug in your audio device, this little message will pop up um, and you can say OK. Um, and just to double check your sound settings, you want to go to DJ Pro Preferences and then you'll it'll be on your audio devices. So right now my main computer output is the my Apogee 1 but I just added this uh, C-Media USB audio device, and now this is for my pre-queuing. If I wanted to switch that, if I wanted this to be the main output, I would just select that for main output, and then pre-queuing, I could pick any of my other audio devices. So if I wanted my built-in output to be my pre-queuing, then I could do that, and then I would hit apply, and then that's all it takes. Next, we'll do the DJ splitter cable. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug our splitter cable into our built-in headphone jack and then we're going to plug our speakers into one of the channels and then we're going to plug our headphones into the other channel. Then we're going to go into our DJ Pro preferences again and make sure that we are on our audio devices right here. And then whatever our main output is, we're going to use our built-in output. Um, and then for pre-queuing, we're going to do split output. This will split the channels, like I mentioned before, into two mono channels. So you can hear one of the channels through your headphones and hear one of the channels through your main speakers. All you have to do now is hit apply, and then you should be all set. Now we can talk about the DJ controller. So if we see our main output is in the front of the DJ controller, and then our headphones are in the back of the DJ controller, so now we'll plug our headphones into the headphone port. And then we'll take our RCA cable and plug it in to the main output of the DJ controller. Once we finish that, we can plug in our DJ controller with the USB cable. And once we do that, we'll see this. So this is for the DDJ RB. Um, and right now it is just auto selecting all of the audio settings, so the main output, the pre-queuing, and the microphone. Okay, so I'm going to hit OK, but just to double check, we can go to our preferences once again, and here we can see our main output is the DDJ RB, and this is channels 1 and 2. This is for the main output on the controller, and then for pre-queuing, we have the DDJ RB again, and this is channels 3 and 4. This is your headphone stereo uh, channel. And then your microphone, the, the, this controller actually has a microphone, we'll talk about that in, a, in another tutorial, but if you want to use the microphone, you can plug it into the microphone jack on your controller. And since we already uh, hit apply, it's not even letting us because that's what the settings are right now. So we can just close out and now we can use our controller for sound output. Another thing to mention is that if you are using a DJ controller, you might need to install an audio driver depending on which controller you're using. For this one, I did need to install the DJ JRB audio driver from the Pioneer website. It was very simple. I just downloaded it and then followed the instructions and 
um, and then it worked fine. But if you try to plug in and it's not working, you, that's why it might not be working because you need to install that audio driver. So yeah, that's about it. If you liked the video or have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. Uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, if you give it a thumbs down, my feelings won't be hurt too much. And yeah, if you want to see more content like this or my original music and DJ performance videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks. Thanks.